Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Arc Basics, a show where we break down the ABCs of how to start an arc, how to accomplish things, how to achieve things, how to be the best you possibly can be. That's right, we're going with the full ABCs of Arc. A for Arc, B for Basic, C for, well, whatever you want it to be. C can be anything. Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Arc Basics. I'm Flinger Fu, and today we are discussing this massive mound of delicious honey right next to me. That's right. Today we are talking about the Queen Bee. We're talking about the uh, little annoying dudes that come out of there and then they try to gank you as soon as they see you and everything is so difficult and dangerous. But yeah, today we're going to be talking about how to get one of these of your own because out in the wild, they don't look like this. I mean, matter of fact, this one right here actually kind of looks like some weird pancakes kind of stacked on top of itself with coated in... Oh, dang, I'm getting hungry. All right, so yeah. Anyway, so today we're going to be trying out a few different methods on how to uh, um, open up the uh, um, oh the wild nest because there's actually quite a few different ways that are very effective. Some that aren't nearly as effective as others, and then some that are you know just like the best ways of doing it. But you can't do it as often as you want to because apparently, well, it's it's just unfortunate that uh, the um, Oh, the dinos are way high up in the uh, the air. I'm uh, not the dinos. The, uh, the the beehives on the trees are way high up in the air. And um, yeah, I'll discuss that a little bit more as we get going. But I've got a couple cryopods here, and we're gonna be taking a bunch of these guys, putting them in cryopods, and then because we're gonna need, I mean, for the shopping list, if you have it, get a dire bear. All right, take the dire bear. The dire bear is going to be probably your most effective tool against these things. Plus, um, if you also have it. Get a Quetzal. Quetzals are really, really easy for these guys. It all just kind of depends. Oh, hold on. Wide load. What do you got? Oh, wide load. Oh, you've got so much stuff on you. All right. Well, hey. So, yeah. We're going to get all that stuff transferred. Um, Yeah, I'll probably move over something else so where we can get everything transferred. But, um, so you need a Dire Bear. You need probably a Thylacolio. Thylacolios are very handy when it comes to... Oh, you've got the same problem, too. Oh, actually, none of your stuff. Here, I'll take that. And that. And that one. Alright, and then drop you. Alright, bam! Alright, so there we go, Oreo! So we got you as well! Alright? Actually, you know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take you. But also for the shopping list, um, another thing we're gonna be using... Um, now, you can actually use rare flowers to tame these guys, and it is very, very effective. But it's not the most effective way. The most effective way is simple kibble. And this stuff right here is just with using the small eggs, stuff like that. I just whipped it up right before we uh, started. But, uh, yeah. Um, go get some simple kibble, and then also you need... Uh, bug repellent, bug repellent, very, very, very helpful when it comes to this stuff, um, when it comes to, uh, taming queen bees, and then also, ghillie, alright, you need a full suit of ghillie, and this stuff right here, I'm just using primitive ghillie, it doesn't have to be amazing ghillie, it doesn't have to be super amazing ghillie, it just has to be ghillie, all it has to do is just keep the bugs off your butt, that combined with the, uh, um, oh, uh, with the, uh, bug repellent makes everything super, super simple. There we go. All right. Yeah, and then uh, the bug repellent, super easy to make. You just um, make it up right here inside of here. Right there. Bam. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you just make it up right inside of here. This stuff right here I already had inside of my uh, cooler. Let's see. Uh, yeah, right there. It's super simple. Citronol, narcotic, um, pelt, and rock carrots. But yeah, and then once you're done, you can actually just take it and you can pop it inside of your refrigerator right here. Yeah, I just took half the stack with me when I went. Um, but yeah, um, that way there, you always have a whole bunch of this stuff on hand if you want to actually go tame it. Um, yeah, and then also here, let me gather up a few things and then we're going to head over to the Redwoods. Yeah, because I'm going to be running around my base forever if I don't just uh, do a cut and then just be like, bam, here we are in the Redwoods. All right, so you guys ready? You ready for that? Just a whole bam. And then we're in the Redwoods. All right, see you guys in a sec. All right, so bam, now we're in the Redwoods. <laughs> okay, now um, you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of beehives up here on the sides of the trees. Now, the hardest part is actually just getting them down. 
Um, now, if you have a bear, you can kind of get the lower ones, and that is the recommended way of doing it, is just grab the lower ones with a bear. But, bears can't climb trees, which is kind of unfortunate. I mean, it would be wicked cool if they could, but since a bear can't climb trees, one of the most effective ways of cracking these things open is, um, seriously? All right is with um just something that can get up there so let's do that let's see let's uh put you away uh, we don't need you right now now i brought my pteranodon but i don't think my pteranodon is going to be able to carry me because uh i've got so much stuff in my inventory but a pteranodon if you take and you swoop at these um oh nests um you can usually break them it all just kind of depends um, sometimes, um, it takes a little while because these hives, they actually regenerate really quick. But we're gonna try, we're gonna start off with a bear really fast. Um, now, um, it's advised when you're doing this that, uh, you eat, oh, uh, one of the, uh, oh, the bug repellents. And then also, wrong button. There we go, right button. And then also make sure you have your ghillie suit on. That way there... You're not going to be uh, getting ganked by all this stuff. But you'll notice that on the island map, getting these things, it's really a pain in the butt. I mean, because unless it's really down low, chances are you're not going to be able to crack these things open. But on uh, other maps, on Aberration, on Ragnarok, on... Uh... Oh, uh, as, uh, Ragnarok... Oh, no, I said Aberration Ragnarok. Yeah, on those maps, it's a lot easier because the uh, nests are actually down lower. But on this map, not so much. Not so much at all. So, yeah, we're going to take this and we're going to, for this method, <laughs> we're going to have a little fun. All right. So, one of the easiest ways to crack these little bad boys open. There we go. And just pay attention. Alright, see how resilient these things are? That one actually lasted. Uh, I think we might have killed it. I think we might have killed it. Alright, let's see. But also, sometimes... The older ones of these... Are... Oftentimes duds. So you also have to kind of keep in mind that... Even though you're breaking these open, a lot of times they're not going to have bees inside of them. Alright, so... Now another tactic for doing this is stay way back... And shoot the nest from a long good distance away it's where you don't aggro it because as soon as you pop it the queen bee is gonna pop out and she's going to uh, be really angry Let's see this is actually easier done with It's actually easier done with a, uh, um... With a machine gun. Alright, here. So, now let's go like this. Pop open like this. It seems like I'm having a whole bunch of bad luck here with, um... Oh, the, uh, old dead ones. So, I might just actually have to clear them out really quick. And then come back, um, get them to respawn here in a little bit. But, we're gonna do that... Just the Rex. I mean, simple as that. We're gonna do it with a Rex. You can also do it with a Quetzal, you can do it with all sorts of stuff. Uh, looks like we might actually have to do this um, with, a, with a Quetzal. Some of them are a little bit higher, but a Rex can usually get the majority of the low-hanging fruit. Now let's try it with a Quetzal. Quetzal is actually really easy, and so we're, we'll just get both of them. I mean, screw it. They don't want to cooperate. We'll get both of them. That's not good. 
See you guys in a minute. All right, and we're back. And I've been clearing out just about... Seriously? I've been clearing out just about everything from up here. And also, you want to make sure that you have your dire bear out. And these kind of bushes like this, you kind of try to want to make sure most of those are out of the uh, immediate area when you start with your queen bee taming. And also, you want to make sure that you don't have any... Any thylacolios on the trees. Alright, come on. Alright, so then, you pop up like this. Put one inside here, put one inside their inventory, you eat one yourself. Alright, and then, you can just kind of start chipping away at the old dead ones. Remember, you can also press X to stop. There we go, there's one. Yeah, there's a lot of old dead ones here. And then you you kind of have to make sure you go around and clear out all the old ones. There's another. I have a lot of old dead ones here. You can tell it's been a while since I did uh, any kind of wipe on this server. All right, there we go. There's three dead ones. <laughs> oh, yeah, if there was a live one, it would pop out. So, hey, I'm going to get all these cleared out. As soon as I see a live one, it's just going to pop down. And we're going to jump down and we're going to tame it. Now, the reason why we're on a Quetzal is because these uh, um, bees, when they come out of there, the queen bee will spawn a bunch of drones and they will immediately come attack the rider of whatever dino you're on. And if you're on a Quetzal, it'll just dismount you just like this. Yeah, if you're on an Argent or a Pteranodon, It'll knock you to the ground. But on a Quetzal, no, they won't do that. All right. I think I finally found an active one. <sighs> it's taking me so long. All right. But over here on the other edge of the uh, the Redwoods, know that everything is so difficult over here. Holy crap. There is so much stuff. Everything wants to eat your face. Everything wants to steal everything out of your zero slot. Make sure you've got, you know, even if you put your kibble over here in the bottom, make sure it's not... All of your kibble. All right, wide load. All right, right there. All right. So now let's get up here. Let's feed you one of these. Bam. You know what? Let's just give you all this stuff. You're probably gonna need it. Let me eat one of those. All right. Now let's see. I was clearing all these out, and then. Yeah, you can hear it. Hey, you hear that inside there? Oh, no. I gotta be careful. Suck at Demorphodon. Now, also, uh, Demorphodons are really good for clearing these out. If you can have um, a couple, like a pack of a bunch of Demorphodons with you, they will uh, be able to clear these things out wicked fast. It's really cool. Wow, there's a lot just stacked up on here. Holy crap. Hopefully I don't kill her. Wow. Okay. I'm on. But also, the Redwoods aren't the only spot to find these guys. Actually, there we go. There's giant bees. Now we're getting close. Now we're getting to the center of the honeycomb. But yeah, um, the easiest spot to actually tame these guys... ...is over on... Oh, the, uh... Oh, the big rocks. If you can find the crevices and stuff... That's actually the best spot. They're pushing me away. Okay, let's... Get back over here.
Now suck it, bees. There she goes. Okay, now that's what we're looking for right there. It's her to go taken off like that. You have to pay very close attention to where she lands. Right over there. I'm watching her as she goes. Take the dire bear. Where'd she go? Seriously? I'm trying to find something here. All right. There she is. Okay, so now that she's just kind of chilling out like that, make sure you've got your ghillie on. Ouch. Ouch. Seriously? Ouch! Ouch! Come on, Dire Bear. Get over here. There she is. There we go! And it's as simple as that. I mean, it's... Granted, it's, it's a pain in the butt. But... Oh, ow, 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 ow! Ow, ow! Thank you. See what I mean about this being dangerous? Yeah. I mean, it is really, really pain, a big pain in the butt to actually uh, um, get them f um, fed. But this kibble right here, the simple kibble, that is the easiest way to get them tamed. Now, let's see. Let's put you inside of here. Now, let's go clean up our mess because I've got a thylacoolie over there. I've got wide load right here. Ah, all right. Whew, now, let's get back to base. And then let's go discuss uh, all the other uh, little intricacies of these guys. Where did I leave Oreo? Oreo, where are you? All right, I'll see you guys back at base. All right, like what I was saying earlier, though. Um, with the uh, dire bears on the island, if you really want to take advantage of the fact that they're immune to the uh, being dismounted from uh, the giant bee attack, um, look for them, look for giant bees over on the crevices, stuff like this, because, um, the dire bears, they won't be able to reach the giant bees up on the side of the redwood trees, but over here in the crevices, you'll find all sorts of, uh, times where giant bees will spawn over here, and that's when you can really, really take advantage of the dire bears' abilities to not be dismounted by the, um, of the giant bees, and you can just waste the, um, honeycomb. And then get the giant bee, you know, kind of, you know, chip away the little bits and then uh, get it the tender goodness on the inside. Yeah. So, and there's all sorts of ravines all over the island that have, have a whole bunch of giant bees on them. You just have to really start looking. Yeah. Um, usually check around the mountains, everything like that. You can actually find them over here on this area every once in a great while. Um, yeah. All right. So now that we're back at base, let's get over here and let's discuss what it takes for the giant bees. All right, now, right, let's put this away. Hold on, you know what? Wide load, let's just put you over here. I don't like having you inside my cryo world. All right, so over here, I already have a giant beehive. Now the giant beehives, if you are not wearing ghillie, they'll attack you, even when they're tamed. All right, and how you place them like this is you just go like this, take this right here. When um, I tamed her, it gives you the option to turn her into a giant beehive and you just kind of just set her down just like that. All right now, we can just kind of open this up and then we can feed them. Now what they eat are the rare flowers, all right? Um, and then they'll just slowly, slowly, slowly start uh, giving you uh, honey. Now the honey does have a spoil timer in here, not nearly as fast as when you put it in your inventory. See, look at that. It goes down to 40 minutes inside your inventory which means that you kind of either have to run over and then stick it directly inside of a fridge or just immediately start cooking with it. And she's just going to start slowly, slowly giving us a giant or giving us a honey. 
But, now here's the funny part. If you don't have ghillie armor on, and you open it, you get this yellow glow, and then you start getting killed. And then they'll start eating you, stuff like that. So always wear ghillie when you're opening these things. Ah. Come on, give me that. But with a full suit of ghillie, you can just kind of open it and nobody will care. This is like the bee suit. Yeah. And then they'll start slowly giving you honey. Oh, great. Now I'm injured. Stop, stop eating me. Oh, my gosh. All right, let's see. Yep. So that happened. All right. So, and that's pretty much the giant bee. You can't saddle them. You can't anything like that. But these guys, they're... Very, very important for uh, all sorts of cooking recipes, stuff like that. Also, um, with the giant bee honey, you can actually lure certain dinosaurs into certain areas. It's pretty cool. Here, let's uh, get healed up, and then let's head down, and then we'll, I'll show you what you can do with the giant bee honey. Let me grab a little bit of this, just so where I can show you how you can lure things with the giant bee honey. All right, see you guys in a sec. All right, my heart's still pounding. I still got a whole bunch of damage. But yeah, see, say this Baryonyx. Say if we want to, like, put him over here. All you do is just go down. You put this stuff on your hotbar. And then you kind of lure him into just about any place that you want. Hey, Mr. Dodo. Yeah, you can take and you can lure these guys into taming pens. Into just about anywhere you want. The raptors over there, so I gotta wrap that up real quick. But yeah. And then, of course, everything around you uh, decides to go to the honey as well. But, yeah, hey. And then you can take, you can lure... If we wanted to, we could lure this Parasaur into a cave if we wanted to. It's pretty cool. Uh, the honey actually has really, really good purposes for um, just cooking and then also for just like that. Luring. What level is this guy anyway? I mean, if he's good, I might as well tame him. 145! Yeah, so we could take that 145 Baryonyx. We could lure him into a taming pin that I've got just set right over there. And, <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. All right, anyway, I think that's going to do it for the episode. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, everything to do with the giant bee and then also honey and then the magical effects uh, that honey has on luring everything in. You stupid. How dare you? All right, so, hey. <laughs> All right, if you liked the video, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate that. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo, and take it easy, everybody.